Republican or Democrat, candidates are blanketing airwaves across the country with gun-themed ads, vying for voters' attention in a crowded election year. From Democrat George Scott in Pennsylvania. Who believes in common sense and not blind loyalty. To Republican Kay Ivey in Alabama. Straight shooter, that Kay Ivey. A new study shows 12% of ads this election cycle contain a gun reference, continuing an upward trend. We've had a spate of highly publicized shootings in the last couple years, whether it's school or we're talking Las Vegas. So naturally, that's going to really heat up the conversation on both sides. In the wake of the school shooting in Parkland, Florida, some voters are calling GOP ads advocating for the Second Amendment insensitive. I was like, Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Including one from Georgia gubernatorial candidate Brian Kemp. We work with a lot of survivors with Moms Demand Action, and I can't imagine how they must have felt seeing a cavalier, kind of playful tone taken with guns. People pushing for gun control are also under fire for their ads. According to local station WVEC in Virginia Beach, federal officials are investigating congressional candidate Karen Mallard after she sawed an AR-15 apart. But no matter the level of backlash in the primary season, Kent says history shows in the right states and districts, political ads riddled with bullets work. There's a lot of one issue voters, and I think both parties are realizing that this is a one issue that they have to be on top of. Kemp agrees, saying the ad has pushed his name into the spotlight. I, I was a little bit surprised that it went as viral as it did, but look, it was great for us. I mean, the attention that we've gotten, you, you can't buy that kind of media. In Atlanta, Emily Iketa, Fox News.